Hi, this is Adam from IDIS and today I want to speak a little bit about the different bag technologies used in air sampling today. So I'm going to start out with the Nalofen bag. Uh, you probably are familiar with this bag. This is the most commonly used bag in Europe and the advantage of this bag is that it's very inexpensive. Uh, you make it yourself from a big roll of Nalofen. You just tie the end and put a tube on the other end. Uh, they cost a few dollars or a few euros each and you throw them out after use. The, it doesn't have a very strong background odor, maybe five or so odor units, but it has a big disadvantage that it lets a lot of chemicals through. For example, ammonia easily escapes from Nalofen. So the holding time on Nalofen is really low. You should really use this when you want to analyze the sample right away. The next up is Tedlar. Tedlar is very popular in North America. It's been used for more than 20 years. It has an uh, advantage that it doesn't let ammonia through but the disadvantage that it has a strong background odor when you originally buy it. Our, our bags, we try to purge them for 48 hours to get all the smell out of it, but you still might have some. The Tedlar background odor is about 30 to 40 odor units when it's new. It also allows water vapor to easily escape. And the biggest disadvantage is that it's made the material is made by DuPont and they had a material scare where the prices went up and the availability of Tedlar has gone down. So now we're looking for different technologies to replace Tedlar. So what we're introducing is Teflon bags. Now these are made of Teflon 4A. Uh, this is a, a special type of Teflon that has a very high material density so it doesn't allow much of the gases out, much better than Tedlar or Nelephant. And another advantage is that it doesn't have a background odor. Uh, maybe a few odor units at most when you first make it and then with a simple purge, one-time purge, it goes to almost zero. Also, the odors don't stick to it, so it's easier to reuse it. You can easily purge it and use it again. Since the material is made by more than one company, the price of Teflon bags that we sell are identical to the ones of Tedlar, but with much more technological advantages here. The next one I want to talk to you about is a special one, it's stainless steel bag. Uh, this one is not usually used for older sampling. This is a new product by Centroid. And this is more for GCMS analysis and the big advantage of this one is that no chemicals go through. It doesn't have any background odor or other chemicals and it can have a very long holding time compared to any of the other bags. So the difference between these, how you select the right bag to use is this. From here you have the lowest holding time, just maybe an hour or two with Nalofen before you start to lose the chemical composition. When you go to a Tedlar, you have 12, uh, maybe 20 hours if you're lucky, but generally speaking about 12. Uh, with the Teflon, a little bit longer, 24 hours to 30 hours are okay. With the stainless steel, more than 30 hours you still will have chemical decomposition inside the bag, but at least nothing will escape. Now, in terms of cost as well, Nalofen is the cheapest. These two are the same price and the stainless steel a little bit more. So thanks for watching and please check us out on YouTube and LinkedIn.